one of the things that, that often comes up is, is screens. And so what is your current relationship and, and has it changed over time? Absolutely. I smile at Sarah then because we've just been talking about that this morning, actually, <laughs> in the process of writing some things. We do believe wholeheartedly that we want to reserve the right for children to play and to experience life through play and through social interactions. And we acknowledge that technology and screens and the like uh, have a huge place in our society and will increase will continue to do that probably more and more increasingly. We do try and balance that with their right to play. So we hold that space pretty well. They do have access to iPads, Chromebooks, all that kind of stuff here, and that's integrated into our curriculum as well. And they're allowed to use that in their free time, again, with agreements, everything with agreements, and that's right. come up with them, their rights and responsibilities. And they, and they hold that quite well. So we're trying to allow those children to explore those skills and develop while balancing that with still being in the natural environment and being here in the moment and, and learning as a group. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.